Boy, am I glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pile of balances in what you'd expect. Takes a while to get you... The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I have to go. All right, see ya. We haven't had time together since our last chat. A lot was said when we talked. You seemed decisive then, Lieutenant. Why so hesitant now? I don't want to distract you too much. The deeper we get into this mess, the bigger it seems. I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I'd think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana, broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth, almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble. But I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. It's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what happened. Was Rana all right? Rana? Yeah. Yeah, she was fine. We never really, uh... We stopped talking after that. Tell me what happened. Rana had a gentle heart. She loved everyone. Vernus terrified her. We all protected her from it. And everyone, everyone who loved her. But after what I did to him, she was terrified of me too. Anyway, this is, um... I had a point here. Aliens are individuals. Just because one's an ass doesn't mean they all are. So, yeah, I hated that Turian, but, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. So that's why you're so self-controlled. I'm no more disciplined than any other biotic shepherd. This is all ancient history. I'm over it. You agonize over doing the right thing and never let yourself lose control. Because Rana spurned you after Vernus died. That's... All right. Maybe you have a point. Maybe. 
But I'm okay. You don't have to worry about me. Fully functional human being. I won't be a burden on you. On the crew. Caden, you're a strong man. Talking about this doesn't make you a whiner, and it doesn't make you immature. It makes you human. All right, but it's embarrassing you had to tell me that. You're right. I might need to loosen up a little. I'll try. Glad you'll be here when it's over, Shepard. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm looking forward to some shore leave. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh... What was Benezzi, anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I can handle the responsibility of command, but if I don't stop Saren, the entire galaxy gets wiped out. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you gonna be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure, if you have time. Figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. You mean on the anniversary of the first contact war? The end of it, yeah. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. 
There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Elenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. If you haven't talked to Dr. Tassoni, you probably should. She just lost her mom. That has to hurt. Just saying, Skipper. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am? Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Thank you, Garrus. I'll keep that in mind. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do catch him. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. 
Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Either way, I'm right behind you, Commander. 